Oh, sweet oh. Here we are, Chalkling Square. Do they look nice, Jeff? Come on, everyone, let's get in there. Don't see why we had to move in the first place. Oh, shut up, complaining, Tyler. Yeah, leave it out, Squirt. Look, I don't want to be here, do I? Shut it, all of you. This is your new home now, so you better get used to it. Come on, everyone, let's get moved in. Lines Limited, Michelle speaking, how can I help? Stacy knows she's out at the moment. Can I take a message? <laughs> Just let her know her grandmother called. OK, will do. Thanks. Bye. All right, babe, how's it going? All right, darling. All the better for seeing my wonderful husband. Still can't believe I can call you that. Yeah, I know, it's weird, isn't it? Where's Stacy? Oh, she's just got some business to work. Shouldn't take her too long. Oh, why? What's she doing? Just some business. Let's just say that we've seen Jimmy around here much longer. Right, Jimmy, I think we need to have a little chat, don't we? Now, I know you're still bearing twisted because your little plan didn't come together, but you've got to get over it. It was four years ago now. Get to the point, Stace. That's Miss Landers to you. You've got to accept the fact that I'm in charge on Tortland these days, and that's the way it's going to stay. That's what you think. Don't you threaten me, Jimmy. You're nothing round here. You're a rubbish mechanic working for me, the one person you hear most in the world. With your kid and tour, and from what I've heard, your only friend round here thinks you're a drunken waste of space. Trevor wouldn't say that. Oh, shut up, Jimmy. It's over for you round here. The only reason I've kept you on so long is to unravel in the fact that you're so pathetic and you can't do anything about it. Don't you push me, Stacey. Why? What are you going to do? I'll finish you off. I'd like to see us try. Get off me! Oh, Jim. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy! <laughs> You've got to learn. Chorling's mine now. What I say goes. You're fired. Now get out of my sight. You can't do this to me! You're not going to get you, Stacy! Just you wait! Just you wait! Oi, babe, seen this new family moving in? Where? Let's have a look. Oh, uh, yeah. Think, what do you think they're like? Think we should go say hello? I don't know. They don't look too friendly. Oh, come on. It's just nice, isn't it? We can suss them out. Yeah. Why not? All right. The name's Grunt. Jeff. Jeff Turner. Welcome to Chalkland. Cheers. This ain't the first time I've been here though. See, I used to live here a long while ago. You never told us that, Dad. Yeah, well, you learn something new every day, don't you? It's my wife, Pauline. Oh, yeah. My sons, Robbie and Tyler. All right. All right. And that's my daughter, Candice. Who may this be? Oh, it's my girlfriend, Chantelle. Lovely to make your acquaintance, darling. Oh, I'm charmed. Anyway, I'll leave you to get on with your unpacking. Just want to introduce yourselves. See you around. Yeah, I'm sure you will do. Oh, it's so nice to have you back, son. Yeah, thanks, Mum. We missed you so much, haven't we, Trev? Yeah, all right, Mum. Just hasn't been the same without my baby boy here, and now he comes back with his big clever degree. I'm so proud. Yeah, all right, Mum. Well, I am. You'll be doing much more than your brother, lazing round the house all the time. That's not fair, Mum. I'll leave it out. I'm all right, sorry. Well, we'll have to organise a dinner with your sister and Colin. Oh, no, don't worry about that, Mum. Let's just go down the pub for a few drinks. Oh, all right, then you've twisted my arm. I'll give your sister a call. Here, Trevor, why don't you ask Jimmy to come? He's not my boyfriend, Mum. Ooh, touchy. He didn't say he was. You know I'd still love you, though. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, I, I didn't see you there. Look, Jimmy, I'll call you back. Oh. 
I said, you were out here before. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have. We just moved in today. Who? You and your boyfriend? I ain't got one. Me and my family. Oh, glad to hear it. I'm Trevor. I'm Candice. Nice to meet you, Candice. Oh, seeing as though you're new and everything, um, do you need someone to show you around? I mean, I'd be more than happy to show you around if you'd like. Oh, that'd be awesome. Thanks, Trevor. Great. Um, well, a couple of us are going down to the pub tonight, if you fancy it. I mean, there'll be loads of people there from Chalkling, so it'd be a great opportunity to meet everyone. Yeah, that sounds good. I think my family were planning on going anyway. I wasn't going to bother, but I think I will now. Well, great. Well, I'll see you later, Candice. Yeah, see you later, Trevor. Call me Trev. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, shut up, you little rat. Love you too, sis. Who was that? On the pull already, eh? Surprise, surprise. So what if I am? Anyway, he's just being friendly. He lives round here. His name's Trevor. Where are you going? Off to school. Mum wants me to introduce myself to the teacher. Don't see why I can't do it tomorrow when I turn up anyway, but... Yeah, well, you know what she's like. Best just go and keep her happy. Yeah, see you later then. Yeah, see you later. Can't believe you fired Jimmy. Thought you went mental, didn't it? Should have seen his face. I loved every minute of it. That should finally get the Willis's out of Chalkland once and for all. It's about time. Oh, by the way, your grandmother rang twice earlier. Did she? I haven't spoken to her for ages. I wonder what she wants. Do you mind if I shoot off Stace or is there anything else you want doing? No, that's fine, Colin. I'll see you at the pub in a bit anyway. Shell says she's all going down to celebrate John's get back from uni. Cheers, Stace. Yeah, I'll see you later. See you later, darling. Bye, Ben. Oh, things seem really good with you, so at the minute. Yeah, I just can't get rid of this feeling that something's going to ruin it. Oh, don't be silly, Shell. You were still a rock solid. Yeah. So this is why Jane Austen is one of our greatest women novelists in English literature to date. Come in! Hi, uh, my name's Tyler Turner. I'm starting here tomorrow. I just thought I'd uh, come and introduce myself. <laughs> You. Tyler, be nice to him, he's new here. Oh, we will, miss. Yeah, miss, we'll look after him properly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, look at the time, we're nearly at the end of the lesson, so let's call it a day here. Maybe you could walk home with the girls, Tyler. Yeah, Tyler, we'd be happy to walk you home. It would only be polite. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow, girls. <sighs> Come on, Tyler. Boy. Bye, Tyler. So, Tyler, where are you from then, eh? South End. I, I just got here today, actually. And you're already in school? Are you some sort of geek or something? No, my mum just told me Your mum? Mummy's boy, is it? <laughs> <laughs> right, girls, give her a chance. Anyway, I'm Sade, that's Shanice, and that's Sherelle. Oh yeah, and that's Sophie. She don't say much, but you know, I wouldn't cross it if I was this. She's got like three aspects in it. Well, it was nice meeting you all. I've got to go. Mummy cooking you tea. Bye. You thought you could get rid of me that easily. Well, it's not over. And finally, Chalkling's going to be back in the hands that it deserves. My Anders. Hi, Grant. John, how are you? Glad to be back from uni. Yeah, it's alright, Miranda, actually. Quite nice, but uh, it's a bit weird, though. You'll get used to it again. I think you're the only person in Chalkling with a degree, right? Oh, yes, he is, my big clever boy. Alright, Mum, not a kid anymore. Oh, it only seems like yesterday you were crawling round in that thing. from a spoon, suckling from Mom! Alright, no need to shout. What can I get you in a I'll have a vodka and lemonade, please, and a pint for John and Trevor. Have you uh, seen that new family? Who's in this chocolate, yeah? No, I haven't. Do you think they'll be in here tonight? Who are they? I can't remember the name. Hey, you know what? Somebody. I'm sure we'll meet him soon. Woman, are you ready yet? Oh, give me a chance, Jeff. I want to make the right impression. Come on, Mum, hurry up. 
What are you in a rush for? You're only going with us. It's because she's got a date. Shut up, Tyler. You've got a date? Already? No, I just met this guy in the square earlier and I said I might see him there. That's all. Why are we going anyway? Because I want people to know the Turlers have arrived in Chalklin Square and are here to stay. Right, Shelley, you can get off now if you like. It's your space. I don't mind waiting, so you're not in your way. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I'll be fine. I've got a few things to do. All right, yeah. We'll see you soon. Oh, by the way, your grandmother rang again today. Did she? All right, OK, I'll ring her tomorrow. Cheers, Shelley. See you later. Bye. Will you just come out? Hello, Stace. Here's to my very grown up young man. My son. My baby boy. Jonathan. Well done, darling. We're very proud of you. To John. To John. To John. Cheers. 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 Thanks, Mum. Well done, brother. Yeah, well done, mate. Oh, Johnny! It's great to have you back. Yeah, all right, thanks. Working for your best mate's pretty easy. Yeah, I'm Well, I just want to say now, if you want to see it, how happy I am to have all my family back together again. I'm very proud of all of you. I don't think anything could ruin this moment. Jeff? Hello, Sandra. What the hell are you doing here? Weren't expecting to see me, eh? Well, I'm back. Far in me was the biggest. I'm gonna make you pay. What's that? I can't hear you, Stace. <laughs> Do you want me to take that off? Although I wouldn't advise you to say anything, though. No. Well, well, well. Haven't the times changed? Not so big without your heavies here, are ya? Give me one good reason why I don't shoot you where you sit. Uh, you can have your job back, I'll give you a raise. Do you think that's gonna be enough? I want everything. I want the lot. You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Either you sign everything over to me, or I'll kill you right here, right now. I, I, well, I'll get some papers drawn up tomorrow and we can sort out then. Do you think I'm stupid? I've already got some papers prepared. Now sign. Oh, life! I'll have nothing left. Do you think I can? Sign. None? Well. It's a good job I didn't wait for you to return my call, isn't it? Stacy, would you hurry up? We're going to be late. What is taking you so long? I don't think we should go, Nan. I'm worried everyone's going to find out. No one is going to find out. The only people who know are you and I. It look very odd if you don't turn up. I suppose so. Uh, but for it, Stacy, you've got to stop thinking like this. We did what we had to do, and now we've got to face up to it. Think what your mother would do. Yes, Nan. Oh, come along. I've got to walk the corgis before the funeral. Okay, Nan. Don't see why we have to go anyway. Didn't even know him. Tyler's got a point. It's just a matter of respect, isn't it, Jeff? We knew we've got to make the effort. Yeah, your mother's right, lads. We've got to be seen to be doing the right thing round here. Exactly. I'm ready. Bloody hell, sis. Is that skirt short enough? Oh, Candice, you can't wear that. Why not? I thought I looked pretty good. 
Because it's a funeral, not a bloody fashion show. Just because someone died does not mean I have to compromise my dress sense. She just wants to look good because she knows that Trevor guy will be there. Don't. You listen to me, girl. You stay well clear of him. Why? Because I don't want any of you hanging around with anyone from that Wilson family. And that goes for all of you. But Dad? No buts. That's final. Now, let's get this show on the road. Thank you for all coming here to pay your last respects to our fallen brother, Jimmy Willis. Taken so suddenly from us in the prime of his life. A true man among men. A true mechanic among mechanics. Jimmy lived in Chalkland Square for most of his life and had many friends. It is truly a sad day for our little community. Before we commit his body to the ground, we will have a few words from his best friend, Trevor. Thank you, Vicar. I'd just like to say that although Jimmy had had a, a couple of problems, he was a good man. The best mate I would ever ask for. Sorry everyone, I just don't understand why you did it. Miss you, Jimmy. I'll never let go. Mommy. Thank you, Trevor, for those moving words. As we commit Jimmy's body to the ground, it seems only appropriate that we remember the words of James Blunt. <clears throat> Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. Mm. I think we can take comfort in these lovely words. So, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Right, everyone. I just want to invite you all back to the pub for a few free drinks to celebrate Jimmy's life. I think that's what he would have wanted. Okay, well, I'll, I'll see you all there. Chantel. Oh, hiya, Jeff. Right. Mm. What can I get you? Oh, nothing yet, Chiz. I'd better wait for the rest of the family to get here first. Had you met Jimmy? No, nah, we hadn't, but we thought it'd be respectful to show our faces, like. It's nice, isn't it, Grant? So, uh, what actually happened to him? Stacey's office with a gun in his hand. No, Stacey's desk said he was sorry for kicking up the fast after she sacked him. And that was secretly enough with her. And that he can go on living out with his head. All sounds a bit convenient, if you ask me. What do you mean? Well, everyone around here knows that Jimmy hated Stacey. And everyone also knows that he wanted Chalkley back. It's a bit beneficial for her now that he's out of the way. Put two two. Suggesting Stacy bumped him off. I'm suggesting anything, but if the glove fits. Ron, shut up. She's my boss. Do you want me to get fired? Bloody hell. Nice talking to you, Grant. We better go out for a drink soon, mate. Go on, you need to get up and say something. You need to seem sympathetic. Can't, Mum. You can. 
Just do it. Act natural. Hi, everyone. Uh, just want to thank you all for coming to say goodbye to Jenny. No, this is very hard to do. Especially in the But I think that getting on with things is what Jenny really wants. So, a toast to Jenny. Rest in peace, pet. And as I've got all your attention, I'd just like to say two things. Firstly, I'd like to introduce Zol to me, Nan. This is Gloria Landis. She's going to be living with me in Chorton for a while, so if you all need to feel very welcome. And also, we're going to be reopening Club Meach. Um, if you'd all like to join us here tomorrow night, you'd be very welcome. Fuck what they say Fuck it if they talk It really don't matter I'm going to Where's your dad going? Oh. I don't know, probably went out for a fag or toilet or something We need it all Don't get off me! Why? You're the one who turns up here out of the blue to come back, you can be right said Fred for all I care. Well, I'm here now, and it's things we need to discuss. Like what? You know what? Well, it's too late. You had your chance, and you left. Now get off me, Sandra. Sandra, come back. Where have you been? Why well, was you talking with that sound of it? I wasn't. She just must have come out before I did or something. Like you're having an argument from where I was. Look, I just bumped into her. She lived here when I did, that's all. Alright. Now, do you want another drink or shall we go? Okay. Now, let's stay for a bit. I'll send Tyler outside to make some friends with girls from school. Bum boy. I'll be shattered. You know how upset he gets when you call him that? He's sensitive. AKA okay, gay. Shut it, you. That's enough. <laughs> oh my god, I know it's on the fucking air. Oh, hey, oh, look what we got here then, girls. All right, Tyler. Hi. Looking pretty good in your suit, aren't you? Thanks. Did you want something then, Tyler? I did just. My mum's a bit good idea for. Do you do everything your mum says, Tyler? Or do you actually have a mind of your own? <laughs> <laughs> Easy, girls. Chill your batty. Tyler's obviously a sensitive kind of guy. God, <laughs> oh, don't be stupid. Alright, calm down, just get some joke bread. Oh, yeah, but I'm not gay though. Right, we get the picture. Jeez. Do you want some, Tyler? Oh, I don't smoke. Why? Because your mum won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you some kind of chicken? Yeah, he's a ah, chicken. Chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. chicken. Yeah. 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 Who's that guy? You never told us. I oh, know one, he just used to live in Chalklin a long time ago, that's all. He's looking at you well funny. Maybe he fancies you, Sandra. No, he doesn't. Why'd you say that? I think he was joking, Mum. Just chill out. Sorry, I just feel a bit stressed. Why? Just work and stuff. Don't you worry, love. I'll just have a couple more triple martini biancos and lemonade and I'll be fine. Well, I've got to go soon. Stacey's got some paperwork for me to do. Yeah, I've got loads of stuff to do. Oh, come on, why don't you stay? I think Trevor's around here somewhere. Well, oh, where? I don't want to be set on my own. Well, Colin, you ain't got to be up tomorrow. Can you stay? No, I ain't. I don't mind staying for a few drinks with my lovely mother-in-law. Oh, thanks, Colin. I just want to de-stress a bit, you know, drown me sorrows. Well, should we get off then, John? Yeah. See you later, Colin. Bye, Mum. Thanks for staying, babe. Will you make sure she gets home all right? Yeah, no worries, Colin. Thank you. Love you. You too. See you later. Bye, Mum. Bye, now. Hi again. What are you doing out here on your own? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I just need a bit of time on my own. Do you want me to go? No, it's all right. Take a seat. Do you want one? No, thanks. So, uh, how you been feeling then? 
I'm all right. It's, it's just a bit weird, isn't it? I'm seeing you up, so. So, uh, you're going to go to Club Meach tomorrow? I don't think I'll be in the mood. Are you going? I don't know. I don't really know many people around here. Well, I guess it'll give me a reason to go then. <laughs> so I might see you there? Yeah, I reckon. Well, thanks. I better go back inside because they'll be wondering where I am. I'll see you later, Trevor. See you later, Candice. You are! You're so nice, Colin. You're lovely. I mean, you're sat here looking after me when you could be at home with my beautiful daughter, your beautiful wife. But instead, you're sat here with me. It's so nice. You're not getting your own girl. 13 triple martini bianchi for days and up. Let's get out of here now. Everyone else is gone and I think Chantel wants us to leave. Okay then. But I'm still fine. Bye Chantel! And you told me. Thanks for getting me home safe, Colin Wallin. I'll get you <laughs> up. Honest, I am fine. Who <sighs> put that stiff there? <laughs> Come on, sit down there while I get you a drink. Right, but I'm getting you a coffee before I go. Do you know, you are really lucky, Colin. You've got someone who loves you, who really, really loves you, and you love her. I wish I had that. You've got loads of people who love you. Michelle thinks they're well Oh, I don't mean my family. I know they love me. I mean someone who loves me for me. Someone who wants me. But who'd want me, eh? I mean, look at me. Oh, don't talk like that, Sandra. Why not? Because you're beautiful. You're just saying that to shut me up. No, I'm not. You're beautiful. I know hundreds of guys who'd love to be with you. Yeah? You name one. Shell. What shall I do? I don't know, I'll cancel it. Oh my god, I feel terrible. What have we done? Me too. But it felt so natural being in your arms. Do you wish we hadn't? No, Colin. What about Michelle? This can never happen again. You're right. This is a one time thing. Pinky swear? Pinky swear. Well, she's starting to get really paranoid now. I know, it's fantastic. Get here as fast as you can, as soon as possible. You want her to pay, don't you? Oh, that sounds lovely. Yes, absolutely. So magnifique. <laughs> See you soon. Toodles. Bye. Oh, Missy, I didn't hear you come in. Who was that? It was your brother. Mickey. No, no, Freddy. Oh, how's he? Oh, you know, splendid. He might come and stay with us for a few days. I thought he might be a calming influence on you. <sighs> None, honestly, I'm fine. He doesn't need to be here. Nevertheless, I think he'd like to see you. Anyway, I must be getting on. Things to do. <laughs> All right, then. I'll see you later. Toodles. Where the hell have you been? I've been worried sick. I'm so sorry, babe. Your mum got really drunk last night, so I had to walk her home and then I made her a cup of tea and stuck around to make sure she was alright. And been there all night. Well, you could have rung me. Well, I was going to, but the first time I woke up was when you called me this morning and then I come straight here. I didn't have a chance. Well, that's alright, I suppose. I was so worried about you. I woke up in the middle of the night and you weren't there. I thought something horrible had happened to you. I don't know what I'd do without you, babe. Oh, it's alright. I'm here now, darling. I'm not going anywhere. I'm safe. Okay. Anyway, I've got to get to work. I'm late already. Have a nice day, yeah? Thanks, you too. Good to me. You too, darling.
Well, I want to know who she is and why you were talking to her. I've already told you a thousand times. She used to live here when I did. That is all. Well, if that's the case, then why will you keep staring at her and why was she giving me dodgy looks? I don't know. Maybe she's got a twitch or something. She ain't got a twitch, Jeff. You're lying to me again. No, I ain't. You said that this would be a fresh start for us and look, it's already going tits up. That's because you keep having a go at me. You'd better not be cheating on me again. I swear to you, I'm not. If I hear you are, I'll... I'll... You'll what? I'll leave. You wouldn't dare leave. You know you got it too cushed here. And besides, no one else will have ya. Pauline! Pauline, come back! I'm sorry! The things I said. <laughs> Would you girls please be quiet? I can hardly hear myself think. <coughs> this is supposed to be silent reading, you know. Take a leaf out of Tyler's book. He's as quiet as a little mouse. Maybe then some of you will get some work done. Sorry, Sorry miss. miss. Surprise, surprise, I could take his pet. Do you ever do anything wrong, Tyler? I bet Miss fancies him. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't. That'd be stupid. Oh yeah, how silly of me, of course she don't fancy him. No point in fancying a bum boy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please be quiet? How can I get stuck into Jane Austen with such a racket going on? I told you, I'm not gay. Oh, we know, Tyler, we're just messing with you. Yeah, Sade, you gonna try getting to Club Meech tonight? No, there's no point, mate. There'll be an idea in everyone. Me sure I'll just go down the park getting drunk, innit? Yeah, yeah, right now. Are you up for it? Yeah, safe bridge. How are you gonna get a booze, though? That's where Tyler comes in. Hello? Vicar? Is there anybody around? Hello, madam. Can I help? I, I was looking for the vicar. I'll just go and get him. Vicar? 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 Uh, hello, uh, my name's Frederick. I'm the senior vicar around here. Uh, I hope uh, Angus is going for what. He's not used to seeing people. <laughs> Gets a little bit excited. <laughs> um, no, he didn't. I haven't seen you before. I was expecting to see the vicar that did Jimmy's funeral. Ah, uh, well, now he was the trainee vicar, but I'm uh, the big man around here. <laughs> Unless you were. Uh, Forget about. <laughs> uh, I'm probably second man in charge. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I suffer from thermal diarrhea. How can I help? Well, it's just. I used to go to church a lot when I was younger, but then I stopped when I got married and. I didn't know where else to go. I uh, will. Well, would you like to take a seat uh, Sit down. What's the What's the problem? Well, it's me and my husband, Jeff. We've been having a few problems lately. And, well, we've only just moved here and it was meant to be a fresh start for us, you know? But he comes home and he's awful to me. He calls me horrible things. He's, and I really just feel used, Vicar. Comes into it. What? You can get us some booze, can't you, Tyler? No, I'm not 18. Oh, man, you are such a mummy's boy. Look at you, though. You look at him. Look how tall you are. I'm not doing it. What if I get caught? You won't. Chill, you better you. Come on, Tyler. Stop being so boring. Yeah, Tyler. Listen, yeah. If you want to be in our group, then you'll get us some booze. It's up to you. Right then, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Please make sure you've read pages 50 to 100 of Emma. Yeah, remember what I said, Tyler. There it is. Any bit, miss? Never at all. Tyler? Yes, miss? Could I have a word, please? Sure, miss. I just wanted to say, be careful. Those girls are no good and they'll lead you up the wrong path if you let them. They're all right, miss. Well, just don't let them force you into anything. It'll end in tears, trust me. All right, I won't. Cheers, miss. OK. Goodbye, Tyler. Bye, miss. Stacey? Yeah? Do 
do you think that Colin would ever cheat on me? No way, Shell. This is the man that saved you from a burning building not too long ago. He loves you the bits. Why? Do you think he is? Well, maybe. Well, no, not really. It's just that he said he went out with my mum last night and he didn't come back till this morning. I don't know, he said that he slept on my mum's sofa as well. It's all a bit sus, really. If that's what he said happened, I'm sure that's what happened. Besides, you can just ring your mum and check. Yeah, I suppose you're right. And if there's one person who never liked you, it's your mum. <sighs> My <sighs> lord! That was amazing. I thought we weren't doing that anymore. Yeah, me too. <sighs> oh. oh, pumping the guns. Yeah. Robbie? Oh. What do you want? Don't be like that. I was just wondering what you're doing tonight. Staying in, watching telly. Oh, there's a rerun of No Edmund's house party on. Mint. I thought you'd got over that Mr. Brobby obsession. Y you're not helping yourself, oh, yeah? All right, sorry. Look, I was just wondering if you wanted to go to Club Meet tonight. What? So you can flirt with that Trevor? I don't think so. Oh, go on. What's it in it for me? Oh, buy all your drinks. Oh, sweet. Oh, thanks, Robbie. Be ready for nine, yeah? John, can you do us a favour? Yeah. What? Can you come over to Club Meets tonight? Oh, mate, I'm not really in the mood. Oh, go on, mate. Ken Diesel will be there and I really like it. That'll be really fun for me, innit? Oh, go on. I'll, I'll do... Look, I'll give you whatever you want. Anything? Yeah, just name it. What do you want? Alright, then. Your Pokemon collection. No way! I'm taking that to the grave! Alright, have a good night, then. Alright. Driving our bargain, you don't. <laughs> look, meet me at nine. Oh, John, does this talk give me bitch tits? Well, don't you think it would be the... I think it's a stupid idea. Why? What's wrong with it? Uh, well, she's my boss, it's her club, you're my boyfriend, and if she finds out, I'm out of a job. But she won't find out. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. You're not a professional. You've only just started doing it. So I can handle it. Besides, you like all your new furniture and clothes, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, well, if I can't do this, there won't be any more where they came from. Well, just be careful, yeah? I always am, babe. All right, lads? Yeah, uh, boss. Just, just keep it together tonight, yeah? Yes, boy, all over. Yeah. Mom. Um.
Since you were a bit stressed, so I thought I'd bring you a drop of fish would make you feel better. You can never feel that. It's so good to see you though. Oh. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, you're doing good. I need to speak to you. No, we can't wait. We need to sort this out. I'm coming round to yours. We'll meet somewhere else then. All right. Are you sure they won't be there? What's the address? All right. So, this is my room. Would you like a drink or something? Like... I've been wanting to do that since the first day you bumped into me. Me too. I'm so glad you did. What do you want then? I want a talk. What about? About everything. It's a bit late for that, innit? I know, I'm sorry, but don't you think that Trevor, Michelle and Jonathan have got the right to know that I'm their real father? Trevor? Yeah? I think I love you. I think I love you too, Candice. No, it was really special. Yeah, it was. Best be going. I'll call you later, okay? Bye. Right. I'll miss you. You too. Where the hell is she? She probably just made a few mates last night. Stayed round at base. Well, she could have rang. She'll be fine. Anyway, where did you go in the middle of the night? Went out for a walk. At one in the morning? I couldn't see. Well then you just come down here, get a cup of tea and watch telly, don't you? Don't just go wandering about. I wanted some fresh air. You're a liar. Who is she? What are you going on about, woman? It's that Sandra again, isn't it? Get off my back. Nothing's going on. That's what you said before. Just shut it, will you? Leave it out. I've got enough to worry about with you on my case. Fine. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, when do you want to do it? Yeah, later today's good for me. Yeah, I've never dropped X in the afternoon before. I'd be a bit mental. Yeah. 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 Well, um. I still got them, so do you want to come up? Alright, sweet, see you later, mate. Oh, it's 
It's so good to have you here, Freddy. I've missed you. Well, I could hardly stay away and let you deal with all this on your own, could I? I told him everything that went on with Jimmy. Sounds like you didn't have a choice. I know, but I just can't shift this feeling that someone's going to figure everything out and then they'll take everything from us. That's not going to happen! Yeah, there's no way, sis. I won't let it happen. I'll make sure of it, Harry. Right. Thanks, Freddy. You, isn't it? You give me that. Where the hell have you been? I was just at this girl's house. I met her last night. I don't believe you. Well, that's where I was, so I don't care if you believe me or not. Don't you be giving me attitude. Were you at that Trevor's last night? So what if I was? I'm a grown woman. Oh, no, this is terrible. What is your problem? He's an amazing person. Right, I mean it this time, Candice. You're not allowed to see him again. You can't stop me. As long as you live under this roof, I can. But Dad! I don't care! Get upstairs now! Are you alright, babe? What? I said, are you alright? I'm fine, why? You just seem a bit distracted lately. Is there anything wrong? No, no, I'm good, I'm, I'm great, I'm 100% A-OK. -okay. <laughs> you seem a bit weird. Look, I've just got a lot of work at the moment, alright? That's it. There's nothing else you want to tell me? No, that's it. Well, it's just that I've been wanting to talk to you about something. <laughs> ah, look, sorry babe, I've got to run. There's an emergency at work. I'll see you later, darling. <sighs> Vicar? Lovely to see you again so soon. How are you? I'm okay, thanks. Well, I'm not actually. That's why I came. I wondered if we could talk again. Yes, certainly. Uh, uh, take a seat. What's the problem? Well, what's the problem? Well, remember my husband, Jeff? Well, I think he's been having an affair. I don't know what to do. Are, are you sure? Have you asked him? I have, but he denies it. Maybe he's telling the truth. But he's done it before. I mean, it's, it's not just that. It makes me feel ugly and useless. I can assure you, Paulie. Neither of those things. I am defeated very Anyway, I better have to be off. Um, I don't want to keep you. Okay? No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, wrong way. I'm sorry. Okay, bye. Well, look who it is. Gay boy. Leave it out, Sade. No, I told you if you didn't come and see us last night, you couldn't hang around with us. I had stuff to do, I didn't I? Chicken, more like. Yeah, but you stayed in and baked cakes with your mummy all night, didn't you? No, I did well with all the stuff oh, from that. Yeah, whatever, Tyler. You've heard enough? Listen, you've had loads of chances to prove yourself that they call enough to hang around with us. But the fact is, you're not. So get lost, Tyler. Yeah, come back when you get a life. <laughs> Bye, loser. <laughs> See you, Tyler. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Are you not going to answer that? No, I've got better things to do. Not now. Focus. Oh. Oh, where are they? Ah, oh, bingo.
I just don't know what he's got against you. Me neither. I mean, I've never even spoken to him, so I could have offended him. I just wish you could see how lovely you are. Then he might change his mind about us. How can we do that? How can we change his mind? Maybe if we showed him how serious we are about each other. Yeah, maybe. Well, I don't know. We'll have to think about it. All I know is I can't believe you can do this. You mean the world to me. You too, Trevor. Jeff? What? I just wanted to apologise for this morning. What are you going on about? I shouldn't have questioned your fidelity. I should trust you more. Are you even listening to me? What? Yeah. You're not, are you? I come in here trying to sort things out and you really couldn't give a toss either way. I haven't got time for this. What? For our marriage? Yeah, that sounds about right. Just leave it out, Polly. No, I will not. I am sick of this. I am sick of being treated like a piece of rubbish. I mean it, Polly, and I'm not in the mood. You never are. You never listen to me. I'm warning you, Polly. Just lay off. No, listen to me. I want to talk to you. Just shut up. You're a rich one. You've seemed a bit quiet. Oh, I'm okay. It's just Colin. I know something's wrong. He's been acting really weird. What do you mean? Like, do you think you know something about someone or something like that? What? Like, you, you know, is he said anything to you about anything weird going on around here or anything, anything like that? No. Oh, okay, that's quick. I, I just wanted to make sure I'm on top of everything, you know. Are you feeling all right, Stace? Oh, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Fine. Fine, fine. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I've got lots to do. I, I, I better get out. I'll, I'll see you later. Shall I? Bye. Sorry, I'm late, Miss. Oh, that's all right, Tyler. Just go sit down. Now we're doing our individual reading, so just carrying on with that. Oh, this just my home cry then, Tyler. No, I went on to get something. What? You packed lunch on Mum made you? <laughs> <laughs> or did you just need a nappy changing? <laughs> Right, everybody, I'm off to Miss Pritchard's office. I won't be a minute, so carry on with your reading. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, what is. Yeah, miss. Right then, Tyler, what's this thing that you want to get from home? Do you really want to know? That's what she asked, innit? <laughs> All right, then. All right, mate, come in. Oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, they're just in my room. Oh, no, sorry. Just gonna do them here then? Yeah, should we go for a laugh? Cool. Cool. What's up? They're gone. What do you mean they're gone? I mean they're not here! No way, is it? It is. As if you brought those into school. Oh, whatever. I bet it's just paracetamol. No, it isn't. It's X. Yeah, whatever. How do we know you're just saying that to try and look cool in front of us? I swear, it's ecstasy. Well, prove it then. How? Oh my god, that's a spell of a well good joke! What? It proves that's real. What then? Put one in Mrs. T. No way am I doing that. Well, it's obviously not real then, is it? It is, but I'm just not doing that. Why not, Tyler? Nothing will happen, she'll just get high. It'll be the jokiest of jokes. Yeah, come on, Tyler. It'll be come hilarious. On. Come on. Come on, Tyler. You know you want it. Come on. Come on, Tyler. Please. You know you want it. Come on. Brave yourself. Just 
feels tired. I'm so thirsty. I catch my breath. Miss Milner, you idiots, look what you let me do. Miss Milner! Miss Milner! Miss Milner! Don't look like nothing, Mum. You know me. Walked into the door, I'm clumsy, aren't I? Oh, it looks pretty bad. Are you sure you're alright? She's fine. You're fine, isn't you, love? Well, yes, yes, I'm fine. Anyway, anyway, Tyler, you haven't told us about that teacher of yours got taken into hospital. Yeah, I must have forgot, sorry. It sounds pretty bad, eh? It must have been the drugs that reacted against her heart medication, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, something like that. Well, I don't really know. Well, I know that sounds terrible, doesn't it? I hope she's all right. Yeah, well, uh, I'd better go get ready. Are you not going to eat your breakfast? Oh, no, thanks. I'm not hungry. Uh, see you in a bit. Are we really going to do this, then? One, two, three, stop do. Definitely. Cool. Shall I tell everyone to meet in the pub in, like, half an hour, then? Sounds perfect. Oi, Tyler. Yeah? I want a word with you. What about? What about? Don't play dumb with me. What are you know about? It was you, wasn't it, that did that to your teacher? No, it wasn't, bruv. Don't lie to me, I know it was you. How do you? Because yesterday, I had some ease in my room that mysteriously disappeared, and the next thing we know, your teacher collapses over a suspected drug abuse. All right, it was me, get off. You little mug. Oh, Robbie, you're hurting me, get off. Not until you've said sorry. All right, all right. I'm sorry. <coughs> how could you be in such an idiot? Do you know how much trouble you're going to be in? Never mind that, how much trouble I'm going to be in, all because of this. I had to do something that the girls at school were calling me a bum boy and a chicken. I had to do something to prove I wasn't. Oh, can't believe you. We're going to have to sort this out quick or the police are going to be knocking on both our doors. But I'm really starting to freak out, Freddie. I don't know what to do. Look, sis, you're going to be fine. If you carry on like this, though, you won't be. You need to be calm and focused. How can I do that when any minute someone could just come in and threaten to kill us? No one's going to do that to this. I'm here now, and I'm going to look after you. But what about when you're not around? I mean, Jimmy nearly managed to kill us, didn't he? Yes, and look how well that worked out. Yeah, that's not the point, Nan. And what I'm seeing is it could happen. Yes, and you could walk into the middle of a street and get hit by a bus. But there's no point in worrying about it, is there? Man's right, Stacey. But don't worry. We'll work something out, are we? Alright. I'm so lucky I've got you. Calm down, Mum. We need you to talk to you all. I thought I told you to stay away from him, Candace. Just sit down, Dad. I don't want to be in the same room as that woman. You don't even know me. I know enough of that. You know you're a trollop. No! Holy! Oh, no, you didn't. Jeff, you need to learn how to control your wife. Leave it, Mum. Can you hear what she said to me? Just shut up, all of you. Me and Candice need to talk to you all. What's going on, bruv? You want to talk? Me and Trevor. We're in love, and we're getting married. What? You can't! You better stay away from my daughter right now! Shut it, Jeff! You think you can control Candice, but you can't control me, you ain't my father! Yes, I am! What? I'm your dad, Trevor! What's the matter? Everything's gone wrong. My family is falling apart. What's happened to your face? It was him, wasn't it? 
I'm gonna go around there right now and sort this no, out. No, no, Vicar, don't. It didn't mean to. Honestly, it didn't mean to. I can't stand seeing you do it, do you? It doesn't deserve a woman of your calibre. If I were your husband, I would wait on you hand and foot every single day. You really are a great guy, aren't you? A really great guy. Pauline, run away with me. What? Let's just move. Start somewhere new, somewhere fresh, somewhere exotic, like Manchester. But what about Jeff? Don't worry about Jeff. Leave him and marry me. What do you say, Pauline? Well, I don't know what to say. I can't believe it. I can't believe they never told us. Trevor, what are we going to do? I don't know. Do you still... I mean, I still... I still love you, Trevor. I still love you, Candice. But we can't be together. We're half brother and sister. Only through blood. Look, I think you have to grow up together to be brother and sister. What are you saying? I'm saying we should move away together, just you and me. So no one knows us. And start a new life together, just us. Just us. But where will we go? I don't know, just somewhere we'll be accepted. Like. Like Wales! <laughs> Sounds perfect. <laughs> oh, Freddie, it's you. You scared me. What are you doing here? I just thought I'd come say hello to my big sister. Thanks. I'm all right, you know. I'm sorry, I can go if you want. Ah, uh, no, don't. Stay. Just don't sneak up on us again, OK? All right. Stacey? Yeah? You all right? You seem a bit nervous, like, every time a door opens or a phone rings, you, you jump out of your skin. Yeah, no, I think it'll just take time. But I just need to make sure everyone knows that I'm in charge, so they can't take anything from us. They won't. Well, they could if they blackmailed me, and then I would be left with nothing. What would I do then? Oh, I don't know. Well, come on, you must have some idea. Well, what if everything was signed with a different name? What do you mean? Like, if you signed all the business up with someone else, someone you could trust, then you'd still be in charge, but then it'd be in someone else's name, so you wouldn't have to worry. Yeah, sounds like a good idea, but who would I trust enough to do that? You? I'll sign it over to you? I don't know. You know what I'm like with all that business and stuff. Oh, exactly. It's perfect. I'd still be in charge in your name so no one could take anything from us. Come on, I really need you to do this. What about Nan? Oh, no, I don't want to worry you. Oh, come on. It has to be you. You're the only person I trust. I'll read. Thanks, Freddie. I know I could count on you. You're awake! You're in hospital, it's okay. What? Why? The doctors think someone put some drugs in your tea and it affected your heart medication. I don't understand. It's okay, you're alright now. You had me worried there for a moment, Sylvia. Anyway, I best go and tell the nurses you're awake. Okay, don't be too long. You too, Sylvia. I'll be back in a minute. You're back so soon. Oh, Tara, what a surprise. Do come in. All right, babe, I'm home. I've had the most rubbish. Who is this? That time. What? Beppe. I, I heard you. What are you doing in my house? Babe, who's this sleaze bag? Brown, this is Beppe. Yeah, we've established that. What's he doing here? Beppe is a glamour model photographer and he wants me as his newest model. So I'm going with him to Blackpool. 
That's where he's based. For how long? Indefinitely. I'm sorry, Gra, but Pepe's just got prospects that you can never offer me. I've got to think about my career. Things might be good enough for the daily sport, or even the sun if I'm lucky. But things were just starting to work out for us. I know. Sorry, Gra, but this is how it's got to be. It's time for me to leave Chalkling. It's been fun. But I've got to go. Take care, Grant. See you around. See you around. I'll read. Ah, uh, she fell for it. Hook, line and sinker. She's not going to get away with it. I'm going to make a pay. Splendid. Well done, Freddy. Keep me informed. Ciao, ciao. All right, miss. How are you? I've been better. Not too bad. Surprised to see you, Tyler. I just wanted to see how you were. Oh, how sweet. Yeah. I, I don't suppose you know how all of this happened, do you? Between you and me, there's been talk of drugs. Um, and when the police find out, someone will be for it. Yeah, well... I'd like to think I could trust you, Tyler. Yeah, that's the thing, miss. Uh, it was me. What? It was me that put the E in your drink. Uh, I didn't want to, it was the girls, they kept, they kept calling me a chicken and a gay and I had to do something to prove it that was I wasn't. you! I didn't think it'd hurt you though, I, I thought that if I came here and explained it, everything would be okay. Nurse! Nurse, please, please don't do that. Nurse! Don't do that, please, calm down. Nurse! I'll get into trouble, nurse. please. Just Help. shut up, just shut up, nurse. just shut up! No! Just shut up! Miss Milner? Miss Milner? I'm so sorry. I've got to get out of here. Sorry it took so long. Sylvia? Sylvia? Sylvia, are you okay? Sylvia? Oh no! <laughs> Pauline, where have you been? Let me explain about Sandra and the kids and everything. It's just... No, Jeff. You listen to me for a change. I'm sick of the way you treat me and I am not going to part with it anymore. I'm leaving you. What? I found a man who can treat me right. And we're moving to Manchester. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Pauline, I'm sorry. Please don't leave me. I'll change. I promise things will change. Shh. It's too late. It's over. Take care of yourself, yeah? Find you? Ooh, really? <laughs> Stop it! You are dirty. You are. Anyway, enough of that. That's why I rang. I think we need to talk. Have you got everything there, mate? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, me neither. It's the right thing, though. We're meant to be together. Yeah, I know. 
Don't you think we should tell our families first? No, we'll, we'll call them when we get there. They wouldn't understand. Plus, I don't think Jack would be too happy we're still in his car. Yeah, you're right. Bye, Chocolin. Yeah, bye, Chocolin. What was it you wanted to talk about? Something exciting, I hope. No. This. This is what I want to talk about. Ah, you want me to talk dirty? No, Colin. We shouldn't be doing this. We have to stop. Why? Because it ain't right. Michelle's my daughter and you're her husband. Sandra. One. Oh, Colin. I think you're right. I think we should stop seeing each other. Yeah, me too. Well, that's it then. It stops. Now. Yeah. Now. Oh, hi guys. What are you doing here? Just need to have a chat with you, that's all. Don't we, Nan? We do. Why don't you take a seat? I'm alright here. Cheers. She said, take a seat. Well, what the hell's going on? I suggest you be quiet. Because we both know I'm not afraid to use this. Arik, will, will you just tell us what's going on? What's going on? We know everything. That's what's going on. What do you mean? About Jimmy? I mean, of course you know. Not about Jimmy. About Mum. We know you start the f I don't know what you're talking about. She got trapped inside. It was Stop right. lying, Stacey. You locked her in there, didn't you? No, I didn't. Because of you, our mum is dead. And because of that, you're going to be dead too. You did it because you're a manipulative, selfish, heartless witch and I hate you! I'm sorry, Freddy, please forgive me! It's all over for you around here. You've got nothing left. I've still got my business. Don't forget, you were stupid enough to sign that away too! You tricked me. You evil little... Now, now! ...to call people names, Stacy. Freddy? I'm arresting you for the murder of Sandra Wilson. You do not have to say anything, but it will harm your defence if you do not mention something you may later rely on in court. Take her away, boys. I've always wanted to say that. We'll be in touch, Mr Shaw. Goodbye, Stacey Landers. Hello, Shawkland Square. <laughs>